according to the United States Army General Albert M. Stubblebine retired of the Natural Solutions Foundation. The situation is extremely serious and poses our significant danger to our entire civilization. Since TEPCO and the Japanese government have refused their entombment option, as the Russians did with Chernobyl, the world is at the mercy of nature. A mistake here would cause the deaths of tens of millions of people across the globe. If there ever existed a threat that could cause the end of the world as we know it, it's the ongoing and unresolved nuclear saga in Japan. When the highly radioactive spent fuel rods are exposed to air, there will be massive explosions releasing many times the amount of radiation released thus far. Bizarrely, they are stored three stories above ground in open concrete storage pools. Whether through evaporation of the water in the pools, or due to the inevitable further collapse of the structure, there is a severe risk. United States public health authorities agree that tens of thousands of North Americans have already died from the Fukushima calamity. When the final cataclysm occurs, sooner rather than later, the whole northern hemisphere is at risk of becoming largely uninhabitable. Fact. On March 11, 2011, Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station with six nuclear reactors suffered cataclysmic damage that some believe was a man-made event, and the resulting tsunami. Hydrogen explosions, at least one nuclear explosion, and then subsequent deterioration of the visible plants at five of those reactors have created a threat situation unparalleled in human history. Fact. Despite denial and cover-up, the reality has emerged that enormous amounts of radioactive material has been spewing into the atmosphere, polluting the groundwater and the food of Japan, and entering by the tens of millions of gallons the waters of the Pacific. There's no way to sugarcoat these facts. Denying them, blocking them out, pretending that they are not real is of no help to you and your family, and it leaves you totally unprepared for our danger that the Natural Solutions Foundation has been warning about since the first day. As of three weeks ago the levels of radiation inside of the spent few pools of unit no. 2 are too high to measure. Get that, too high to measure. And, the water there is evaporating, meaning that heat and radiation could easily build two very high levels. Very simply put, if this much cesium-137 is released, it will destroy the world environment and our civilization. This is not rocket science, nor does it connect to the pugilistic debate over nuclear power plants. This is an issue of human survival. We can play the denial game all day long and pretend that, because the mainstream media is not reporting on it, there is no threat, but the facts are quite clear. This is, without our doubt, the most immediate threat faced by the world. It's so serious, in fact, that the Japanese government has considered and put into place evacuation plans for the whole of Tokyo, some 40 million people. Reports are also emerging that suggest our collapse of the spent fuel pools would be so serious that the entire country of Japan may have to be evacuated. The entire country, that's 125 million refugees that would cause an unprecedented humanitarian disaster. Before you argue that these are the ravings of just alternative media conspiracy theorists and fee mongers, consider the assessment put forth by Robert Alvarez, our senior policy advisor to the Secretary for National Security and the Environment for the United States Department of Energy, the no. For pool is about 100 feet above ground, is structurally damaged and is exposed to throw elements. If an earthquake or other event were to cause this pool to drain, this could result in a catastrophic radiological fire involving nearly 10 times the amount of CS-137 released by the Chernobyl accident. The infrastructure to safely remove this material was destroyed as it was of the other three reactors. Spent reactor fuel cannot be simply lifted into the air by our crane as if it were routine cargo. In order to prevent severe radiation exposures, fires and possible explosions, it must be transferred at all times in water and heavily shielded structures into dry casks. As this has never been done before, the removal of the spent fuel from the pools of the damaged Fukushima Daiichi reactors will require a major and time-consuming reconstruction effort and will be charting in unknown waters. The total spent reactor fuel inventory at the Fukushima Daiichi site contains nearly half of the total amount of CS-137 estimated by the NCRP to have been released by all atmospheric nuclear weapons testing, Kenoball, and worldwide processing plants, tilde 270 million juries or tilde 9.9 e plus 18 becquerel. It is important for the public to understand that reactors that have been operating for decades, such as those at the Fukushima Daiichi site, have generated some of the largest concentrations of radioactivity on the planet. Regulatory agencies all over the world are warning of the potentiality of our further degradation of the Fukushima nuclear reactors and spent fuel pools, and for subsequent nuclear fallout that would follow. If these reactors go, and they could at any moment for any number of reasons, we're looking at our situation for which you simply cannot stock enough food, or water, or supplies. Radiation would spread across the entire northern hemisphere and would be impossible to contain. 
While we've argued in the past that there is no place we'd rather be than in the United States of America in the event of our socio-economic collapse or global conflict, if these spent few pools collapse, then an international exit strategy may be the only option. Because details are sparse and research limited, it is difficult to predict what nuclear fallout from Japan may look like. The following map may be of some help, as it details the estimated fallout pattern resulting from our nuclear war between Russia and the United States. You know that while most of the world would be irradiated, the southern hemisphere would be your best bet to avoid the brunt of it. Beachfront property in Antarctica sounds quite appealing right about now. Sources linked below. Leader Ohio 7 on, Scrooge.